Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico here, and in this video, I wanted to see how fast I can push the CR10 S4. So I did. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we are going to push the CR10 S4 to its limits. Um, we are going to try to print this calibration cube as fast as we can. Um, so this calibration cube is basically um, scaled up to 200%. I just got one uh, right off of Thingiverse, you know, just so it's cheap. Anyway, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the temperature. Um, I want to try to get this at 220 um, just because I want it really hot and we're going to go to our speed. We want this at 20% infill, which is uh, normally what it runs in. Uh, don't really need support for this build. So now we're going to go to speed. The default printing speed for this is 60. Um, I'm not going to change any of these um, parameters uh, just because I don't feel like I, I, I have to. Um, but I am going to change the default printing speed. So we're going to go from 60, and I'm going to print this at, you know what? That's too fast. We're going to go print this at 100. So we are now going to prepare to print. And this says that it's going to take about an hour for 59 minutes to do that. Uh, and as we all know, Simplify 3D lies. That's more like two hours. So that's for that. And then I'm also going to print it at 140. Now at 140, it says 54 minutes. All right, so it's not that big of a difference um, for the uh, for the print. Now I'm also going to print this at 160. So I'm going to print it at three different speeds. At three exact, I'm going to print it on three simpl uh, not simplify. I'm going to print it on three S4s, and I'm going to print them all with the same exact file, same size, same nozzle, same filament. And we are going to um, compare actual speeds, not the speed that Simplify 3D, um, Simplify 3D shows you. So at 160, it says still, is it 160? Yeah, so at 160, it's still printing it at 54 minutes. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to load it onto the machines and we're going to print them. All right, so what I have here is the um, 180 per second. This is the 140. This is the 100. And just for shits and giggles, I went ahead and um, started something on a normal speed, which is 60 millimeters per second um, for, um, for printing. So we're gonna compare all four speeds and the quality of the prints. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that when it's done in about an hour. Alright, so the one printed in 180 looks pretty good, actually. And it finished in 2 hours, 55 minutes, 12 seconds. This is the one printed in 140. Um, finished in 2 hours, 55 minutes, 52 seconds. Um, about 40 seconds slower. <laughs> this is the one printed in 100. So 100 uh, millimeters per second, it finished in 2 hours, 56 minutes, 18 seconds. And the quality also looks pretty good. And this one was printed in 60 uh, millimeters per second. And it finished in 3 hours, 3 minutes, about 10 minutes faster. Also looks pretty good. So yeah, that's the experiment. All right, so looking at the quality of this, um, there's not much difference between the 60 and the 180, to be honest. Um, they're both pretty smooth. They're both printed really well. Um, this, by the way, is printed in the Nico Industries Hot Art Red Silk PLA from Ziltec. Um, and so, if that's the case, um, I'm not really satisfied with the results here. I, I fully believe that there's more that you can push these machines to. So, I'm going to try to print a full-size helmet um, with... A 100 speed and 180 and just to see the actual um, differences if we printed a full-size helmet so let's go do that um, and let's push these machines 
All right, so we are going to print the Mandalorian helmet um, just because there's a giant Mandalorian kick right now. Um, so this one is uh, going to take about 14 hours, according to Simplify 3D. This is at 180 millimeters per second. Um, so I'm going to load this on there, and I'm going to show you guys what it is for um, 100. Okay, so... This is at 100 millimeters per second. As you guys can very well see, it's 21 hours, 22 hours almost for this one. So this is really odd. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and test this. I'm going to load these two prints and see the uh, the difference in quality, first of all, and actual print time. Because as, we've, as we just saw, this is a lie and a half. All right, so let's go ahead and load this on the print and we'll see what it looks like. All right, at 180, it finished in one day, 17 hours, 14 minutes. Um, now let's look at the quality. Uh, it looks like it's pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Um, maybe a little messed up up on top, but that, nothing the fine finish can't fix. Uh, it looks pretty good. Now let's look at down here at the 100 of the 140. I forgot, it's been a couple days. It's an hour, excuse me, it's been one day and 20 hours. Um, quality also looks good. Um, it's a little nicer. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's, um, unless I did something wrong, that's the difference in speed, in actual speed when you guys uh, print fast. All right, so as you guys can see, um, there wasn't that much of a difference. Um, print quality wasn't much of a difference either. Um, maybe on the 180, it's um, it's a little fuzzy up here on top, but I don't think that's because of the speed. I think it, it was something else. But yeah, so um, what do I recommend? I recommend just doing it at 140. There doesn't really isn't that much unless you start going into like the really really long prints. Um, I also could be very very wrong. Um, I am not an expert at this stuff. If you guys if, if I did anything wrong and you guys know how to make these faster, because obviously it's pretty okay at 180 right um if you guys know how to make this go faster please message me put it in the comments down below let's start let's start a discussion um and that's it you guys uh that's that's the experiment <laughs> and so that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it um i'm gonna try to knock these videos out as much as i can but um if you do like this video please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe right down below um, and make sure you follow us on to at the uh, Facebook group at 3D Printed Armor and Weapon Props. Um, lots and lots and lots of help, uh, helpful people there and they'll help you guys out with whatever whatever you need when you guys are making your props. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this and we're making a video about that right now. Catch you guys later. Peace.